State tomorrow. Head coach Matt Loddick is here. Kobe King, Preston Reedinger, and Thomas Kithier will represent the student body. We're going to ask Matt to start off with a statement on the game, and then we'll go to questions for all four members of Valparaiso. Matt, please. You know, and uh, kind of the message to the team before the game was like, it, it, it's okay to be nervous, right? You're, you know, in a situation where you're, you know, really fighting for your life. You're playing someone else that's fighting for, um, you know, their basketball life. And um, and so I just told our guys, you know, don't leave it all out there in the, in the warm-up line, uh, but I want you to try to win every every possession. And I thought for the most part our guys had that mentality. Um, we obviously came out and, um, you know, looked pretty great. We were hitting a lot of shots, getting a lot of stops, and, um, you know, Evansville's a, a proud team, and uh, I thought they got they got me nervous there for a second. Um, their, you know, their defense, they were switching it up on us. And, but our guys remained poised, um, <clears throat> got stops when we needed to, made shots when we needed to. Um, I thought we did the little things, the hustle plays tonight, um, got big up, got big rebounds. Um, and that's what it takes, you know, at this time. So, again, we uh, we didn't come here for, for one game, you know. Um, we're we're going to show up tomorrow. We're going to compete. Um, it's a proud group, and um, um, we're going to have some fight tomorrow. Questions for anyone on Dias? We're going to start right here. Preston, when, when he says it's okay not to be nervous, or it's okay to be nervous, excuse me, uh, you kind of took that to another level. I mean, you came out, you knocked on three threes. Just what was your thought coming into this game and in the first couple minutes of this game? I mean, uh, I was really excited. Um, first playoff game of college, and I would not rather do it with any of these guys. Um, love all these guys, and they got my back and I got theirs. Go on the aisle here a second, and then we'll come back. Preston, do you, do you feel like you're making a case for a scholarship? <laughs> I mean, I hope so, um, but that's up to coach, and uh, we'll see. Yeah, I think he is. <laughs> Thomas, how do you feel? What was this like to get back? And, and then take me through the second half. You, you came out, you were on the ground, you were behind the bench, stretching out, it looked like just, how do you feel after this? Uh, but you know, it's just, it just feels good to be back on the court, you know, especially uh, tournament time. You know, I've been on teams where you go all the way to the championship and you win. Uh, so it just, I, I want to be on the court. You know, I don't want to miss any of these games. I mean, it, it kills me that I had to miss games earlier in the year and uh, down the stretch. But I was just glad to be out there and just in the second, I was just moving around trying to get it loose. Uh, we'll just keep it loose because uh, when you sit on the bench for a couple minutes, you can just tighten up so quick sometimes. Stay. Yes. Matt, you motioned Thomas to come in. He ripped off whatever this Darth Vader back thing you guys have. He comes running around. Just, just, what were your thoughts on seeing him kind of sprint out onto the court, and, and what did you see from him when he was on the court today? You know, I, mean, I saw what I always see from Tom, and you know, the first thing that you know you're going to get is effort. Um, and you know, in a lot of ways, what we ask our our, our fives to do um, is quarterback our defense, and so Thomas has been. Um, the quarterback of our defense, um, every single second he's been out there, and he's done an unbelievable job. I think we're a much better defensive team when he's playing. And then, in a lot of ways, I mean, you guys see how skilled he is. You know, he can put the ball in his hands at the, the high post, and he kind of becomes your your point guard on offense. And so, you know, missing that piece this year has been tough. I mean, it's it's he does a lot for us. Um, you know, the one thing that I've never questioned though is, is Thomas's heart. You know, I know that he wants to be out there. Um, I know that he, you know, does everything he can. So when he, when, a, when a young man like him tells me I can't go, I know he can't go. Um, and so um, he assured me he was playing in this tournament, and um, I'm glad to have him back. That's for sure. Thomas, uh, welcome back to the lineup. Uh, Kobe, um, he's he had a great game tonight, and it seems like all year, as I've been watching, he's just stone faced, calm as can be all year. What have you learned about Kobe this year, and, and how big has he been for you guys, not just tonight, but all season? I mean, call him Kobe Keller for a reason. I mean, uh, his uh, mid-range is tough, and he's such like a big guard around the basket. You know, and Kobe's just a guy who just wants to have fun. You know, he goes out there every day, gives it his effort. No matter if it's right or wrong, he's going to give you 110%. Um, I mean, I love playing with Kobe, competed with him, I competed, competed against him, uh, but now I love the fact that I have him on my team, so I, I have no complaints about Kobe King. Kobe, what do you see in, in Preston and his columnist as a walk-on freshman out there leading the team right now? Uh, 
Preston from day one has been poised and kind of when he got his college is ready to step up and honestly I forget that he's a freshman sometimes um, and I remember being a freshman I remember being in those shoes and uh, he handles it very well and uh, there's no guy I'd really rather have lead and go to battle with so uh, he fights competes knocks down shots and I want him to stay aggressive and keep improving I know he will. Kobe a week and a half ago, Evansville scored the first 16 points of the second half and, and turned a double digit into a scrap and that looked like it was about to happen here. You had some big plays, a breakaway dunk. Just what was it about the first couple minutes of the second half that, that kind of knocked you guys back into reality a little bit? Well, we knew that they were going to come out swinging. Like you said, the season's on the line and they had just done that to us not too long ago at our own place. So um, I think it was just about kind of weather in the storm and Tom had a couple big plays in the block lead and lean to that dunk, so locking in defensively and uh, just knowing if we get stops, we'll, we'll be fine and we can score. So I think we did a good job weathering that storm and then getting stops and, and making timely shots. My last one, Matt, Missouri State, Mosley, Prim, Clay, just I mean, what kind of a problem do they pose for you? I mean, they're a pretty potent offensive group, you know, and there's some names in there that you didn't mention. Um, and so, um, you know, we, we, we know we have our hands full um, in some respects, but um, again, I think we're playing well right now. And, um, you know, I'm excited for tomorrow. I know these guys are as well. So um, it's going to be a it's going to be a tough game, but, but we're going to be up for it. Anything else from the gentleman for Valparaiso? Yes, last one here on the end. Go. Uh, for any of you players, I guess, uh, you guys were just so balanced tonight scoring, and it's kind of been that way all year. Um, how confident are you guys uh, just knowing that your offense, anyone can go at, at any time? Preston and then Kobe. Um, we're all confident in each other. Uh, Coach actually said before the game that he thinks that we know where we like to get the ball um, with each other. And we know Kobe likes his mid-range. You know, Kev, Kev likes coming off screens, hitting threes. And we're confident in um, them to knock down their shots. Um, like Trev says, get to your spot and knock it down. I just think we have a lot of weapons. Um, and you never know whose night's going to be. Sometimes people have different uh, nights, different mismatches. So to always kind of have that as a safety blanket and knowing that you can put, put up points with any team, I think, is uh, something that we've, we've been able to grasp onto. And uh, it's really about getting stops for us and, and just making shots be in good positions. And they put us in good positions also. Beacons and Bears tomorrow night, 6 o'clock. Thank you, gentlemen. Good luck.